Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're going to be dealing with the cuttings of my hibiscus that I took a while back. They are ready to be potted, so that's what we'll do, but first of all, an update on my hibiscus after pruning. Aren't they majestic? I can never have all of them in bloom at the same time, they're still too tiny, but I have three of them. This is a new one. Pinky one that I absolutely love. This baby pink color right now kills me. And yeah, two more in bloom. Look at this guy, did I ever show you this one? Really pretty. So after pruning, everything works okay. They are already much bushier. My climate really, really helps. We still get 32 degrees in the daytime right now in October, so you have an idea of how warm it is. So even if I prune them in autumn, everything went okay. But let's take a look at the cuttings we took. Let's see how they are looking like and let's pot them up. And here are the cuttings. As you can see, they're not doing bad, but I don't see any roots forming. I do see a lot of those white dots. I confirmed it with my mom and it's time to pot them, particularly because it is very bright here and the algae is taking over. It might take over the stem as well. So I have quite a lot of white notes. I'm safe to pot them now, so I'll show you how the stems look like. And here they are, as you can see, I do have those white nodes. Some of them have become a little bit full of algae. So this is why I am potting them right now. Because the algae can accumulate and they will not let the roots form. Other than that, I have a little bit of a white fly infestation because I do treat my other hibiscus. These ones were just in the bottles. I didn't treat them, but with some soapy water, everything should be okay. So I'll show you how I'm gonna pot them. So what I have here is a plastic cup. I cut some drainage holes at the bottom or slits, and I'm using all-purpose soil mixed with perlite. The reason why I'm potting in very tiny pots is because these cuttings will be shipped to my mother. And all I want them to do is just root, then I'm gonna ship them and she can pot them in appropriate pots. So how I'm gonna do this, I'll make a little hole in the center and I'm gonna pot it a few nodes down, especially the portions that already have the white nodes. So this should be pretty okay. So this looks okay and I'm gonna do the same for the other cuttings as well. And here they are all potted up. What I'm gonna do now is water them very, very well. I'm actually gonna spray the entire plant with water to get rid of some of those white flies. I'm gonna keep these guys in bright light, but not in direct sunshine just yet. I want them to root properly. I want them to hydrate themselves. And I will keep them on the moist side until they produce roots. How will I know that they established? Well, they will start to grow from the top new leaves and the growth will be sped up compared to how it is now. And of course, if I will jiggle a little bit the plant and I will feel it stable, then it's ready to go, it's ready to be shipped. And pretty much that's it. It's really easy to propagate hibiscus through cuttings. And if by chance you missed the video in which we took the cuttings, I'll add it in an info card here or in the description below so you can check it out. I was a little bit afraid because as you can see, these cuttings are really, really tiny. So I didn't know if they would catch, but I think all of them are okay. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this. How are you guys doing with your hibiscus? If you'd like to share pictures with me with your hibiscus, do so in the comments below, link me to your albums, I would love to see them. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. And if you'd like to see more plants and orchid videos from me, just subscribe to my channel. I post every single day for the main part. I'll see you all next time, bye. Hey, ready for some good news? I think we have a flower spike on the Bulbophyllum, Elizabeth and Buckleberry. Such a good bloomer. The only problem is I need a better display for this orchid, so I will try to find a sort of a one plant stand because this guy really deserves a better display than this.